Tim Lapai has the ball placed. South Sydney up the northern end of the park. And we wait. Shane Hayne will blow the whistle. The 2014 grand final is underway. And Luke Keary gets the ball and the ball comes across and South Sydney take it up and guess who it is? Sam Burgess. He's been hit high. I think he was, He's yeah. been hit high, Burgess. He's got straight up and he's pointing to his face. This is uh, high drama. Broke his jaw, has he? I think he might have broken his jaw and I think it might have been James Graham that's got him. I think James Graham has belted him high in the first tackle of the game. And the, uh, he went straight to the trainer. The trainer had a look and said, I think you're okay. But they're just checking now, and he's talking to, to uh, Ben Teo over on the side of the field as South Sydney bring the ball up. And they take the ball ahead strongly up over the halfway line. 21 metres out, last tackle coming up. Where's Reynolds? It goes to Keary on the last play. Now it's fed to Reynolds. And Adam Reynolds pumps it high in the air. And getting underneath it is Perrett. Perrett will have to take it in the field of play. He's chased by Reynolds. He's got away from Reynolds. He can't get away from the next wave, though. Oh, and in fact, he's hit it a very solid tackle. Ball's come loose. Opportunity here. Take it headers to Keary. To Keary for the line. To Keary scores. To Keary opens the scoring with a four pointer. South Sydney lead four. I reckon the referee will say I've got to try, but he'll want to double check that the tackle that saw the ball come out wasn't illegal. I think the question mark is the grounding. I think we need to see Lottie, the grounding at the last minute. Just a hint of separation, but the replay will tell the tale. Yeah, Craig, I think we've also got to look with, with how the ball come out. You have a look at Adam Reynolds and there's, there's a swinging arm from him. We just need to see if it's contact to the head. If it's contact to the ball, it's going to be a three-on-one streak. It's contact to the head, that's a penalty to the dogs. So it's come up his arm and then into the head. It's come up his arm and into the head. We have seen tackles in recent weeks where that's happened, and nothing has happened as a result of it. Well, I saw the swinging arm. Live. I saw you, I'm like you. I, I saw the swinging arm. And that's to the head. That, yeah, it's, can't it's, glanced, that. it's glanced off his arm and then into the head. I don't think they can award it on that. No way, you can't. That's, that's contact with the head. That'll be a penalty to the dogs. They're not even getting a look at the grounding. This will be no try. He will check everything, mate. If he believes it's a penalty, he will do so. All right, thanks, mate. Yep. Yep. Well, you'd imagine it's got to be a penalty. Well, they're discussing it with Shane Hayne. And here it comes. Well, they're not checking the grounding. No try. Penalty for the high shot. Yeah, and, and that's three kicks, David, to the Rabbitohs from Reynolds that have been poor kicks tonight. His team have all the advantage and all the all the field possession, and he's just come up with some ordinary fifth play option. He's just got to get that. He's got to settle down a little bit. As the ball is played now, and it goes back the left side to Kiri, and Kiri goes to Sutton, and Sutton, he always almost gone through. Good tackle, Reynolds over the top, and underneath was Jackson. Six metres out on the goal line. They go the short side of Ah, the Johnson. Alex Johnson has the youngster scored the opening try of the grand final. I think he has. That was the move they were talking about. They caught them short, and Alex Johnson scores another one. This kid played the opening round of this year's football season and pulled back in under 20s. Now he scored the first try in the grand final. And for those that like a bet, I think you'll find he was the favourite to score the first try in the grand final. He can find the try line. Beautiful little short side raid from the Rabbitohs. The skill, well, they practice it every week. Matty Head and Johnson's done the business and South lead 4-0. Well, what that shows me, Craig, is that the Bulldogs didn't do their homework. That was the play we saw last week against the Roosters, but it was on the last play last week. Here comes a kick now, which is stabbing along the ground from Reynolds. He's certainly not giving any uh, any high kicks to Inglis to bring back, but now he packs on the accelerator and Inglis has gone straight through. Inglis is up over the halfway line. He gets away from one. Inglis, Inglis is still going. He gets away from two. Inglis is looking for support. He goes to ground 25 metres out. And... Uh, Who's there trying to put it down? That, is that a should penalty. be a penalty from Reynolds. You're not wrong. He never allowed Inglis who tried three times to get up and play it. That should have been a penalty without a doubt. Anyway, Inglis's kick return. They're allowing this to go on. I wonder whether they're going to come back with their hat. Sam Burgess goes for the line. Sam for the line. Can he get there? No. He's a metre out from the goal line. Oh, that's Ted in the bin. This hand on the ball. It'll be a kick at goal from Reynolds here. 
and they're not going to give 10 in the bin. That's a professional foul. You yeah, have I know, look. I know, but these referees won't do it. As long as they play the rule both ways, I don't mind. Reynolds from in front, kicks the goal, and Souths are in front, 6-0. Now, the ball is fed away now through the hands it goes as the ball comes away then to Morris and Morris is going to be taken to ground over here and he's put on the deck with one second left on the clock. Siren goes. Referee says that's all we've got in the first half and so they go in at half-time with South Sydney leading by six points to nil. And statistically, you'd say South Sydney, uh, well, they're on top, but knowing that the Bulldogs punch on for not scoring points in the second half. South should be pretty pleased with that, although I think they probably think that they've dominated the game a bit more than the scoreboard suggests, leading 6-0. Try to Alex Johnson and uh, a penalty goal to halfback Adam Reynolds. But they lead six points to nil. It's better than being behind 6-0. Takiri goes from dummy half, and he's put down in a good tackle. Two metres out in the goal line. Inglis gets the ball away, and on it goes to Walker. And oh, Walker, he's dropped it. Walker's taken in a solid tackle, loses the ball, and Flamukin comes up with it. Canterbury get a great chance. They've hardly been down this end of the park in the entire game. Play the ball. Ball played. Now it comes to Clemmer. Clemmer takes it ahead. And he's going to be tackled around about four or five metres out on the goal line. Indecision in South Sydney's cost them dearly so far in this second half. Embi goes one way, goes away then to Beck Williams. Williams for the line. And Williams is going to be driven back by the South Sydney defence. He's eight metres out from South's goalpost. South leads six points to nil. Played to Embi. Embi throws a little dummy. It goes away to Reynolds and Reynolds offers it up then to Hodkinson. Hodkinson sends it away to Brown, but it took half an hour to get to him. And the cover got there very quickly and they put him down the left winger. Five metres out on the goal line. Two plays left in this set for the, for the Bulldogs. It goes to Pritchard. Pritchard has a crack on his own. He runs into a couple of hombres in the form of Clark and Burgess. He's put down eight metres out. Last play, fed to Graham. Graham out the back. Back door, it goes to Reynolds. Reynolds puts a little rough this and racing through. Big Tony Williams picks it out of the air and scores. Well, here's Hodkinson. Are we going to have it all level with half an hour to go in the grand final? He moves in. You should throw this over and he strikes it sweet enough. And so all of a sudden, it's South Sydney six, Canterbury Banks down six. And South have to bring the ball back to kick off for the second time in the game. 31 metres out on the goal line. They'll play it to Reynolds. It comes to Keary, and Keary throws a pass that goes to McQueen, who's just come on. And he's tackled not far away from the line, uh, the, the 20 metre line, as the ball goes back to this side of the field. George Burgess. George Burgess striding downfield. He'll score under the back dot. Oh, he's left them straggling. He went over one. He went over two. He went over three. And then said to Pitt, I've just run over three, you big forwards. What chance have you got? Under the back dot. Ten Six, kick the cup. A runaway train, Burgess from close range, and on the back of a beautiful unload from his brother Sam, and he just he just knocked him out of the way. A determined run, a very important run. They're in front by four. Reynolds from in front of the sticks moves in. There's the kick. It's successful, and South Sydney lead by 12 points to six in the grand final with 22 minutes to go. Now, George Burgess plays no, the ball. This shame. is another penalty, and it's another penalty against Tolman this time. Hand on the ball. Now, is he going to have another kick at goal here? No. Surely not. He is. He's he going to have another kick. Well, this one's a metre further out. So, Reynolds, 43 metres out, virtually in front of the six. Opportunity to give them an eight-point lead with 16 left on the clock. Here's the kick from Adam Reynolds. It's high in the air, and he's kicked it! Two points to South Sydney. They are in front by eight points. 14 points to six. 16 left on the clock. It comes away to Keary. Here goes Thomas Burgess again. And he's tackled 12 metres out from the goal line. What are they going to put on here for the last play, South Sydney? They go back to the right. And then it's a little dink kick towards the end goal area. Going with the ball. The ball comes down to Inglis. Inglis kicks it ahead. Coming for the ball is Johnson. Johnson doesn't get there. Right. But I'll tell you what, the second player of Baha has got there and put it down and scored. South Sydney's try. He sure has. I don't know it'll be a problem with it. It bounced up beautifully for him. Shane Haynes says try on ground. And South Sydney are very, very close. Adam Reynolds. His opportunity 
to become a South Sydney legend. Bends over, which is his style. Looks at the ball, looks at the posts. Here comes the kick from Reynolds. It starts her out right, then straightens up, straight over the black dot. Adam Reynolds has kicked this South Sydney side into immortality. South Sydney 20, Canterbury Bankstown 6. 43 years ago, they beat the Dragons 16 10. They're on the virgin, virgin of winning another premiership. It's 20 to 6, five and a half to go. Inglis takes it ahead, he's tackled. 32, 33 metres out. They come back the open side and a little kick because there's nobody at home for Canterbury who's going to get there. In fact, the kick will fly. Reynolds, Reynolds has got a magical bounce. Perrett's run into the goalpost and Adam Reynolds makes himself an extra special hero. He scores under the black dot. He'll get a chance to make it 26-6. A miracle kick, but it was basically because there was nobody at home for Canterbury and the open space and the bounce of the football favoured South Sydney. The ball's going to be played across the halfway. The ball comes away then. Well, wait a Kiri. Kiri sprints through. Kiri gets Forward. the pass away. Surely that was forward to Inglis. Inglis is racing away. Inglis scores. What are they going to do? They look forward. But it was a lovely break from Kiri and a lovely finish from Inglis. His second burst of the game. And it's 30 points to six. Kick the count. They can't. They can't go back for a forward pass. No, they can't. They can't. This is interesting. And he said on-field try, says Shane Hayne. And you're, you're spot on. The only thing wrong with this, possibly, is, is there's a forward pass and they can't adjudicate. They can't pull it back on Are that. Are they thinking that when the get break was made by Keary that he might have, might have been a bit of obstruction? Here and comes he the decision. Let the crowd tell the story. South Sydney score another try through Greg Inglis. It's 30 points to six. Kick to come. There's your Churchill medal winner. If Sam Burgess doesn't get this, there should be a Royal Commission. Well, the thing is, is that... Yeah, yeah. Are they giving him the kick, Sam? Is he going to get... Sam yeah. Burgess is going to have the kick at goal. His final... Not... Can he see? He is absolutely howling his eyes out a moment ago. The clock counts down. Sam, Sam picks up some blades of grass to test the breeze. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to have a shot at conversion goal just to put a bit of icing on the cake because I'll be very surprised if he doesn't get another little bit of icing shortly. His final game of rugby league for the time being. He's off to play rugby union in, in Great Britain. What a player he's been for South Sydney, England and Great Britain in Rugby League. Here comes Sam Burgess. The kick looks fantastic. No! It looked good off the boot, but then it just missed on the near post. South Sydney 30. Canterbury Banks Town 6. South Sydney win the Premiership. The first time since 1971. Yeah, you can cheer along. Where's Bernie? Sitting in front of us? Sing the song, Bernie. Come on. Dance, Bill. Let us hear it.